The Salvation Army in Blount County needs your help with its Angel Tree program. The deadline to adopt and shop for a child in need is tomorrow, and there are still lots of names and wish lists hanging on the tree in that community. 10 News reporter Katie Inman spoke to the Salvation Army, who says there were more Angel Tree applications this year than in the past. Each tag makes me kind of emotional. And every wish list, Christmas is a time of giving, represents a child in need. This is a reminder of that. And Janine Eckhart knows firsthand the impact of the Salvation Army Angel Trees. When I was a child, I know I wouldn't have had Christmas if it weren't for the Angel Tree program. And it's the same situation with, with these children that we work with. Now she works for the same organization that allowed her to have Christmas growing up so other underserved kids can have that same experience. Every child deserves to have that feeling of joy and excitement on Christmas morning, and the Angel Tree program is what makes that possible. So here's how it works. You pick a tag off of a public angel tree, then you fill a bag with their wishes, and then you return it to the designated drop-off spot on the tag. This is a season that's not just about us. Um, it's a season about returning. It's a season about thinking about vulnerable children. But this year, the angel trees at Vienna Coffee House and National Fitness Center in Blunt County are more full than usual. Because we have so much more demand this year than last year, um, even though we have more community partners this year, we need um, a little bit more help from the public than we have in the past. The nonprofit received 200 more applicants this year than last, which bumped their usual 240 recipients up to 440. The deadline to turn in those gifts is Monday. It's that early so the gifts can be organized and delivered by December 7th. So it's so important that all the angels get adopted and shopped for and returned so that every child can in Maryville have an exciting Christmas morning. Katie Inman, 10 News. If you are looking to get additional help during the holidays, we want you to know about some deadlines that are coming up. You can apply for the empty stocking fund starting tomorrow through December 7th. The coats for the cold coat drive pickup is going on now through December 7th as well at area CARM stores. Toys for Tots gifts will be delivered December 16th through the 19th. For more information on how you can help or get help, head to our website, WBIR.com.